there, it's Kimberly Locked, and today I want to talk about how to invite more feminine energy into your business without sacrificing the revenue or the credibility or anything else that having a successful business means for you. A lot of us, especially women, have in the past few years or so shifted away from the hustle hustle and the grind grind, maybe more bro-ish culture of business into kind of this more surrender, receiving, doing things in a cyclical nature form of doing business. And I think a lot of us kind of still feel confused about where those two energies can merge and become one. And that's ideal, right? To have both the, the spiritual and the receiving type of energy and also have the practical logistics, getting things done energy as well. When those two come together, you're unstoppable. At the moment of recording, I'm actually on my moon and it's definitely more of a inner time for me. This is not the time for me to be like going out and like doing all the things. This is more of me wanting to speak to you about this. If this is also kind of where you're at, where you wanna kind of have the best of both worlds, of like you make things happen in your own way, in your own time, and also have the space and the time to receive and rest and recalibrate and really listen to your body as you do business, that's where the merging of these two energies comes in. The merging of the two is where you'll find that stamina and the strength and also the energy and the flow states that come with both of these energy types. A lot of times with my clients or other female entrepreneurs, I'll notice that they're really in one energy and maybe not so much in the other like maybe too much in their masculine or too much in their feminine. Some of the signals that you might be too in your masculine is like you don't know how to relax, you can't rest, you can't take any time off for fear of not getting enough done, or you are super, super controlling or obsessive over like how things are gonna work out and you want to control the timing of things. And being too in your feminine would be like, oh, I'm gonna wait to take action until I get a sign from you know my spirit guides and until the clouds part and the sun shines down in a specific way. <laughs> Obviously an exaggerated example of what I'm talking about, but you really wanna be able to have both and, to be able to set the intention, take the action, and then let it go once you've done all that you can. If you feel like you want to receive more, relax more, be able to take more time off, this is gonna be really helpful for you because feminine energy is really the incubation energy of our souls. It's the place where we can come back to ourselves and really feel the connection with the divine, feel connection with the universe, feel connections with ourselves and what's coming through. This is the energy where I get most of my really great ideas. It's this feminine divine force energy where it just comes channeling through. And so if you want more of that in your business, this is gonna be perfect for you. I've got three tips. The first of which is stop controlling the outcome. <laughs> so whenever you are putting something out, like an offer or an email or a pitch, I want you to send it off with the essence of like, I have the intention that this is going to be like something that comes to fruition and also I'm detached from the outcome. Don't control the outcome. Try not in your mind to manipulate how people are gonna react or what people are gonna say. Really just like do your best work, put it out there and release the rest, release the outcome. Okay. Number two would be to cut down your work hours. There's been a lot of studies that show that it's better to do 90 minute chunks of work instead of going like 13 hours straight. <laughs> and because we're women, because we operate on a lunar cycle, it's so important for us to listen to our own cycles. And for me, that cycle usually means working three to five hours a day. And if I notice myself getting like really brain foggy and not able to focus very well, I know that it's time to be in a flow state, be in a recharge state. And so I want you to look at your calendar and see if you've got any empty space or any like calendar space for resting and recharging and relaxing. If you don't have any blank space right now, it's okay. I wanna encourage you to look at where there might be blank space in the future. And so if you're working really long hours at the moment, I want you to see if there's any way that you can cut it down even 30 minutes a day for now. And I want you to notice if your productivity levels soar because you know you're gonna clock out at 4.30 instead of five, okay? or whatever time boundaries you need to place, I want you to know that like, no matter how much time that you work, 
your work usually expands to the time allotted. So let's say like you're only gonna work one hour a day, just to be, just to have an example. If you're only gonna work one hour a day, you're gonna get the most important stuff done in that one hour a day, and then maybe realize, oh my God, I only need to work one hour a day. <laughs> and so I want you to, yeah, just take a look, see where you can like have this feminine flow state and let the rest go. Number three is to be in your body. Feminine energy is about being in this space of presence and like finding the connection with your body and finding a connection with everything around you and the sensations and everything around you and indulging in that and feeling pleasure. Like I really want everyone who's watching this to feel pleasure in whatever way that means for you. That could be like eating mango sticky rice or having a picnic and talking about whatever things with your friends. Like there's so many ways to experience pleasure in this world, but being present with that, being in that energy and being in that flow state is something that's really going to help you in business overall. And so just to recap, the three things to invite more feminine energy into your business are to try not to control the outcome so much. Even if you have a money goal or this goal or whatever goal it is, do what you can and let go of the rest. Number two is to make sure that you cut your workday off in a way that feels like, okay, I'm getting the best work done in the least amount of time and then able to be in my feminine flow state for the rest of the day. <laughs> and then number three, be in your body, feel the pleasure, feel the juiciness of this world, this life, this one and only life that you have. I hope this helps. And if you want more of this guidance, I invite you to apply for my high priestess coaching package. It's for spiritual women in business who want to elevate the way they make money, the way that they do business, and the way that they connect to their purpose in this lifetime. So if you feel called, the link to apply is in the description below. And I hope to see you on the inside. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.